What you been working on this week, King? Chelsea Bridge and things and um, boy things. All right, what do you want to start with today? Leave it up to you. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, this is Chelsea Bridge. <laughs> so beautiful. All right, have you ch checked out the B section? Um, I tried. Okay. But I couldn't figure out how to do the left hand things. Alright. Uh let's see you try again. <laughs> and let's talk about it as we go. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure. Um that's major. And that's minor. Yes. Just maybe taking the left hand up an octave. Wait, no, I put the sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That's it. All right. Let's talk about it. So let me sit down real quick. <laughs> so there's a couple of suggestions I would make towards the B section. It has a lot of movement in the melody, so that makes it a little challenging, but it's doable. So, um... So check this voicing that I have. So, it's the same rule we're doing, right? Left hand is doing, preferably, the root and seventh, the shell. And then third is doing melody note, bless you melody note plus third so you see how that works it works perfectly for the b7 because i already have the b7 notes the melody is b then d sharp f sharp a so to it we could substitute out the one the root and put a flat nine in there so and then you got so uh, I'm playing everything knocked above right so you'll play it down and then for this the melody is the major seven yeah so you could do this probably C sharp at the bottom you could do E and you know, sharp here. Mm -hmm. And then this. Ooh, that was, that was it. So. And then you go up to an E, so you could do. Um, you could go up a lot for this one, actually. Because since the melody was all the way up, so. just do this play the third since the third is not in there or you could also just do the other thing remember the, the two double things so uh just to recap so for the two five and that f you i said you could probably Only four notes, yeah. mm -hmm. And then you 
keep going down though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, there's some mm -hmm. A. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Nice. And then we can listen to D here. Mm -hmm. That one's really easy. Close. Remember to B minor shape to. Ideally, you want to make sure you're just doing four notes, so like something like this. B, F sharp. A, B. Mm -hmm. And remember, you could just stay there for E7, remember? Oh, yeah. You just move the two inner notes. So that was F sharp and A, right? Mm -hmm. And then D on the outside, and then I move them both down a half step. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. B. Also have a major seven, and it's a dominant chord. Yes. You want to add the third in there. The third is important. And this sound put the third because the third, third is more important than the fifth there you go nice okay <laughs> so now you have a i think hopefully this helps you have a better idea and grasp of of, of how to play the left hand stuff do you feel much better about it now yes i do awesome so yeah just work work those things out over the weekend uh or two weekends actually because next weekend I won't be here, so we'll talk about that later. But um, I'll see you when I come back <laughs> in two weeks, all right? So you'll get plenty of time to make out uh, what those voices are going to be. And um, then you'll have Chelsea Bridge completed. Because then the C, which is basically the A. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. So you already got that down. Just got to worry about those eight bars in the middle. <laughs> All right, any other questions or is that all? Awesome. All right. Suggest maybe moving 
up to B in the left hand. B F sharp. Remember that. B F sharp left hand. But like the opposite way. So B the lowest note. F sharp the next. Yeah, but up right here. And then the seventh here. And because remember that's the little half step. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So, once you have all of this very well under your fingers, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about pedal control. Yes. Because you can't have the pedal ringing out, especially with all the stuff you're doing throughout the whole thing, because like everything just gets really muddied up. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, let's pull out, um, well, we finished Yardbird Suite. Which one did you we say we were going to do with that one? This one. Um, or actually, let's put four up here. Oh, yeah. Let's check out four. All right. So we got E flat. Specific voicings. Remember, Wait, we're supposed to be shovels. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about that chord, right? A flat seven. Mm -hmm. What's the root and what's the flat seven? So in there we're doing a G minor seven, I believe. Yeah, G minor seven.
So I think you should work on that more. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, just get it on your fingers, and also, besides playing the melody like that, also practice doing the little etude we did, right? The. It's a bit of a workout, yeah. by the way. <laughs> yeah, so, um, good. So you have plenty of things to, to check out. So yeah, those two things should be your priority for this week, I would say, mm, yeah. just to wrap them up. Um, okay, that, that's cool. Uh, if I'm not wrong, do we also have Blue Basta? Oh, yeah, we do. We do, right? 
But before Blue Boss, let's pull out the Omni book. Let's do something from there. Let's, uh... Did you work on the Omni book this week? Oh, yeah, I did. What did you work on? Darker Seed and Donnelly. Nice. Let's do uh, Donnelly. Just play without see my fingers, okay? I'll do it at 120.
should be G. together so we're going to play down a lead together at 120 and we're gonna increase the tempo every time we go through the whole thing okay just just to get it, just to get it under your fingers so I'll do a little I'll do a little vibe sound you can take the pitch all right here we go uh, this will give me 120 Thank you. 
that 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 little measure. No. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Let's do it at one fifty. Let's 
a little faster. So we're at 190. How about we try it at 200, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So sure. <laughs> 200. Here we go. One, two, three, four, with it's uh this latin jazz version that's pretty cool actually um it's donna lee exact same finger patterns yeah. every time okay all right cool um so we got let's check out blue bossa real quick let's, let's go over that and maybe we can call it a day after that so do you know your do you remember your sorry your c blue scale If you need to look at it, that's okay. okay. Low, low, low. <laughs> A secondary blue pasta. No, I don't. No, okay. If you don't, then um, I'll write it out for you again. If I were to find my marker. the first couple notes, right? Okay, also this. Mm -hmm. Also notice the fingers I'm using. Four. going to D flat, you're free to choose whatever 2-5 line you want to do. Sure. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of soloing. Um, 
I'll, I'll, I'll just play the chords with the backing track and you can just solo away. Okay? Um, let's take it a bit slow. Let's do like about 1.30. That should be okay. There we go. One, two, three, four. Chelsea Bridge, <laughs> Chelsea, <laughs> the bridge part of Chelsea, <laughs> um, and uh, four left hand stuff, shell voicings, making sure you can play through that, and down the lead, just slowly build it up with the metronome, okay? Mm, and those three things would be about it. Um, then, since Hopefully for next time, we're going to have four wrapped up and we're going to have um, Chelsea Bridge wrapped up for the most part. We can we can talk about soloing for for Chelsea Bridge, um, but more, I wanted you to play Chelsea Bridge more because of the idea of the, like, the chord voicings and stuff. So we can um, then like move on to some new stuff and, and check that out, okay? okay. Alright, good job, my friend. You did really great. I'll see ya. When I see ya in two weeks. Hey! Hi. Yeah. Um, we got a. Uh, so next week I won't be here. So I was thinking if maybe we could reschedule the class for next week on the uh, 16th, the day he comes in for violin lessons. Uh -huh. Just so after his violin lessons, I can give him that class. Okay. And then, so I will see him on the 11th normally. I'll see him on the 18th normally. But just that May 16, I don't know if that's okay. Is that okay with you guys? Uh, okay with you.